What's going on guys? Brandon Harding here. Hope you're having a great, and I've got pretty big, but what's on guys? If you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you would know that I have brought a racing, brought, brought, I've bought a racing quad and that is basically a racing drone except it isn't a drone because everything is manual and basically they're like these little drones that you make yourself and they go like a fucking hundred miles an hour. You wear these like FPV goggles so you see everything that the drone sees and basically I've wanted one for ages. You guys know that I really really like flying drones but I've got the DJI Mavic Pro which isn't like a racing drone. I've kind of like grown out of that now so I need something like a little bit faster, something that I could do crazy shit like this. <laughs> whole video was the reason I wanted to get a drone like Nurk FPV and Mr. Steely I've been watching those guys on YouTube for ages here's all the batteries and stuff here's the transmitter or controller whatever you want to call it here are the actual FPV goggles and here's one of the drones I really stupidly went and spent about a thousand dollars on these drones and uh, I actually started with two drones so that one right there on uh, that you saw is like the broken shitty one and I had a very 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 nice other drone up until about yesterday when I took it for its first flight and uh lost it in a bog. The challenge for today is I'm going to get my other drone, use that one to like scour the land in the area because these things are addictively hard to fly. Like I thought like how hard could it be? I used to be very good at flight simulators. I've flown all of the DJI products like the Mavic Pros, the Phantom Pros. I've flown those for ages. So I thought it'd be easy. Uh, I took it out for the first time the other day, flew it and holy shit, it was the hardest thing I've ever done. I couldn't fly with FPV goggles. So um, I downloaded this flight simulator, right? I started playing that for a bit, literally smashed it every day for a week and got really good at the flight simulator. Went to flight yesterday, really strong winds, finally got used to it with the goggles and then the wind started to take it back a little bit. It's basically in this mode, so it limits the amount of tilt that the drone can get. So it limits how fast it can go. And because it's in that mode, it meant that I couldn't go against the wind. So I took the goggles off to look where it was. And then at that time, I fucked up and I like lost my orientation. Put the goggles back on, put it into the full manual mode so you can literally make the drone fly like that. Started to fly it back and realized how, yeah, that was the mode I wanted to be in because that's how I practice a flight simulator. It started to come back and I lost signal. I know it's somewhere within like a mile radius around the back of my mum's house. I spent all day yesterday looking for it in the snow. It started snowing and I was up to my fucking thighs in like a muddy wet bog. That's how bad I wanted to find it. Gonna grab some breakfast and then get the equipment. It's really good for getting lean. The drone could be anywhere out there. What do you want? I don't even like cats. What do you want? Cats are such bellens, they know that if you don't really like cats, they like absolutely love you. So cats absolutely love me because I don't care for cats. Let's hope I don't lose this one. Okay, here we go. Right, if I don't find my drone today, and if anyone wants to look through his footage I'm taking right now, and if they find it, I will pay you if I go and get my drone because you found it in the footage. So I'll put the footage in the link below to share it on Dropbox. But if you find this, if you like see it, the little yellow box, as like a camera box on top of the drone, I will fucking pay you. Shit, that's cold. Ah, ah. So cold. Should have brought the waders. Spent about four hours in that field. I probably did about 10,000 steps. I got up to my knees in stinking, disgusting mud. That's my drone battery charger. It's funny because I don't have a drone. My wellies were filled with it. I got to the point where I just didn't give a shit again. You probably guessed it. I haven't found it. On the plus side, it didn't have a GoPro on it, so it could have been far, far worse. And you've got to kind of look at this as like a win. Like This happened to me like three or even a couple months ago, even last month. I would have been so upset, it would have like ruined my day, I would have been pissed off, I would have been unhappy, like it would have like really, really made me angry. And like, I've started to develop my mindset again, and like my reaction to losing all that money and all that drone without, which I really, really wanted, without actually getting really upset about it, just goes to show that everything's working. So I'm happy on that front. And like the way I think of things like this is, one year from now, am I gonna care that I lost several hundred pounds worth of drone in a field? I'm probably not thinking of a shit. So you gotta look on the bright side and as well, no matter how I feel about it, 
it's not going to change that I don't have a drone. So I can either be like really pissed and upset about it, which is my choice, or I can be like, don't give a fuck about it. So drone's gone. I'm a little bit gutted. I wouldn't say sad or it hasn't like ruined my day, but um, we're going to work on fixing my other shitty one. <laughs> I feel so disgusting right now. I'm fat as shit, I need a haircut. My face is like kind of spotty, my back's spotty, my face is unshaven. I feel like if you've ever like banged a really, really slutty girl and the next morning like you go bareback and the next morning you just feel like ashamed and like disgusted with yourself, how disgusting you are. Currently I feel like that all the time. It's super late, it's almost 12 but I get up at half six. I just been, I've been going through his footage for ages. I basically filmed all my Mavic flight. I really hope I'm not getting excited over nothing. I've just seen this in the side of one of the pictures, like in the area where I wouldn't think it would be. So what, do you reckon this is a drone? I don't know, is that a bit of dirt or is that a drone? I would go right now if it's clearer, but it's like 20 minutes away and have a look. I really wish I saved this video, like I filmed it and put it on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, you'll know exactly what happened. And uh, I did a vote, I was like, guys, do you think this is my drone or not? Because if it is my drone and I leave it out there another night, it's going to get ruined by the rain. So it was like midnight, my mum's house is like 20 minutes, half hour away. And I didn't really want to drive out into the middle of the countryside in the pitch black. But um, the vote on Instagram, 98% people said that was my drone. I drove all the way into the Cornish countryside, um, down these back lanes, went to this back field, shined a light, there was like sheep absolutely everywhere. It's quite scary because they'd like sprint towards the light because obviously it blinded them. And then if you didn't have a light on them, they'd like run towards you as well because I could hear the sound. So um, I almost got like killed and mauled to death by savage sheep. Went to the second field where I thought it was, went to that far corner, it was freezing cold, it had been snowing that day, covered in mud, and uh, had a little look around and I couldn't find anything. And then I looked on the map again, saw exactly where it was, or where what I'd seen, what I thought my drone was, went there, and it was a pile of sheep shit in the shape of a fucking drone. I drove at 12 o'clock, I did an hour's round trip to go and look at a pile of sheep shit in a field. Yeah, so uh, it was quite funny actually. I wish I, I wish I had the footage to show you, but um, I filmed the whole thing on Instagram story, and I was just like, before I went, I was like, I swear to God, if this is a pile of sheep shit, I'm gonna be so fucking gutted. And it was a pile of sheep poo when I went there. So um, in hindsight, it's pretty funny to look back on. And like, it was quite a nice drive at night. I got to listen to some cool tunes, some cool wobs, some music, so it's all good. But um, drones officially gone. I think if anyone finds it, it's gonna like definitely be dead by now. So gutted about that. Like I said earlier, it's what it is. Nothing's gonna change it. It's only a drone. Um, anyway, let me know what videos you wanna see, okay? Let me know what kind of content you want to see get produced. I'm just trying to pump out more content instead of being such a perfectionist. If this was boring as shit and you didn't like it, let me know. If you thought it was alright, let me know as well. But anyway, keep getting it guys. I'll catch you later.